Hey everyone, welcome back to the JavaScript course. So in this video, we'll be exploring about how we can merge uh, two arrays inside of JavaScript. And if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So in this video, we'll be exploring about how we can merge two arrays inside of JavaScript. Okay, and later we'll also be looking into the includes function in JavaScript. Okay, so uh, basically inside my VS code, I've opened up my index.html file my style.css file as well as my script.js file okay so inside my index file there is some basic boilerplate code as you can see and inside my style.css file there is some basic uh, styling that is given okay uh, to this uh, page and inside my script.js file there is just a basic console.log message okay so now uh, we'll be explaining about how we can uh, merge to arrays in javascript okay so we'll be looking into different kinds of methods that are there so that we can merge two arrays instead of javascript okay so firstly let's create two arrays we're gonna say const words equals to hello world then program okay next is let's say const fruits equals to how are we gonna say apple mango and then kiwi okay so we have created two arrays that is words and then fruits array so we'll be making use of some of some functions as well as some other methods so that we can merge both of them okay so the first method is this one so we're gonna say const merged array equals to we'll just be taking uh, a empty array and then we'll be applying a concat function on that which is a built-in function so uh, inside the concat we'll be providing uh, both of the arrays that is words and then fruits okay so essentially on line on line number 10 basically we are taking uh, an, an empty array as you can see and then after that we are concatenating with uh, basically these two methods that is words and fruits we are adding into this empty array so that it gets concatenated and provides us these six words inside of a single array that is the merged array okay so we're gonna say console.log merged array is gonna be merged array okay something like this and let's save the file so let's open up our web page and check out our console so over here let's open up our console yeah so there you go inside a merged array we have all all of our uh, items right all the six items are present right so that's well, one way of uh, you know concatenating uh, both arrays that is merging them and we have our second method okay let's write that correctly and we're gonna say const spread a array i'm just giving spread array because we'll be making use of the spread operator to merge two arrays okay equals to we'll just making uh, we'll just be making use of an empty array again and over here we'll just be spreading both of the values that is words and basically fruits like this okay so now we'll just be saying console.log uh the spreaded array is pretty much gonna be the spread array itself okay so let's pretty much save the file and let's check out our console so basically we are spreading the value we are taking whatever the value is uh, is from the words and the fruits array and then we are trying to concatenate it and we are showing it inside of our spread array right so let's pretty much check out our console yeah so there you go spirit array is hello world program apple banana kiwi okay so it, it's gonna be the same thing so the next method we'll be making use of is the third method so these are some of the methods so we're gonna say const concat array so the reason i gave concat is over here we'll, we'll be making use of again the concat method in a different way okay so basically we'll be saying uh 
firstly we'll just be accessing words and we'll just be saying words dot concat of so to the concat method we'll just be providing the fruits array so that both of these uh, arrays get concatenated right so it will be saying words dot concat of fruits like this okay and after this we'll just be saying console dot log of concatenated concatenated array is pretty much gonna be a concat array okay so we're gonna save the file and then let's check out a console once okay yeah so there you go so even after the third method is going to show the same result because this is another type of method that, that we used okay that is the concat method so pretty much these are some of the methods we can uh, use to merge two kinds of arrays in javascript okay so just to recap the first one is by making use of an empty array and then by using the concat method uh, which takes in uh, different kinds of array elements i mean arrays so that we can concatenate all of them and the second method includes the spread Okay, so we are just spreading the values of the arrays with the help of the comma and then the third method again is the concat. So this is done by making use of the first array and then by applying the concat method to it and then by uh, and, the, and inside the concat method is going to provide another uh, array method. So we, we're going to provide fruits over here. Okay, so I think that's it about this uh, merge part. Okay, so the next thing we'll be looking into is the includes function. Okay in javascript okay so basically uh like how how can we know uh, if any of uh, the item is present inside of an array right so for that reason we'll just be making use of the includes function that is built in inside of javascript okay so before that we'll just be making use of uh, array so we're going to say const uh, cars equals to Okay, we'll just be writing some array elements. Okay, Audi, then BMW, then Benz, and then uh, let's say any random word. Okay, for now. So let's say we want to check if any one of the words inside this array is present or not. Okay. So for that reason, we'll just be making use of the includes function that is present. Okay. So we're gonna say console dot log. Okay. Uh, if we're gonna say cars dot includes, and this includes method will just be providing any uh, any word that is present, right? We're gonna say Audi. Okay. We're gonna say again console dot log. Or oh, before that, let's go check out a console. So this should return either true or false. So since this word is present inside our cars array. So this should pretty much return true inside a console. Okay, so let's save the file out and let's check out a console. Yeah, so there we, we are getting true because that particular word is present inside an uh, inside array, right? So the next thing we'll be looking into is, so we're gonna say console.log, gonna say cars dot includes of BMW. So similarly, we'll be looking into the other words as well so we're going to say cars dot includes of pens and for the last one we'll just be making use of we'll just be giving another word and then we'll be looking into what exactly the output is we're going to say cars dot includes of let's give another word which is program okay yeah, so basically on line 27 29 and 31 we have again included some different console.logs by making use of the includes function okay and for the includes function we have provided again bmw and then Benz. so this uh, on line number 27 so this is going to become true because we have this uh, this particular word inside of our cars array right so on line number 29 we have Benz. we are checking that value so we also have that particular word inside our cars array so it should give us again true okay and inside our last line that is we have in uh, cards would includes of program so uh, this particular word that is program is not present over here so basically this should give us false okay so let's pretty much save our file and then let's check out a console once we should be getting true 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 and then false okay 
yeah so there you go we are, we are getting true 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 and then false okay so that's the basics about how we can check if any uh, kind of item is present inside an array or not okay so i think uh, that's it about the includes function okay and that's it about this video also so let's see in the next video and then thank you for watching